Today we're going to use PowerScripts from C Prime to automatically request a participant on a Jira Service Desk user when the issue is created. And we're going to do that using a post function on the workflow. So let's get started by editing the workflow. We'll edit the task workflow. And we're going to look for the create transition. And we'll click post functions and add post function. And we want a sill post function for simple issue language. We'll say create new and we'll call this add service desk participant. And we'll put this right in our workflow post functions folder. Just write ourselves a little note and say this post function automatically adds a so all we need to do is specify the request participant custom field. So I'm going to hop over to our custom fields page in the admin and you'll notice that request participants is a custom field. So if I come over to the cog here and just come down to view, you'll notice in the bottom left you'll see the URL pop up and you'll see custom field ID equals 10301 and that's the information we need. What is the ID of that custom field in the database? And the answer is 10301. So we just say custom field 10301 equals and we can set this equal to a specific user. I could just type in my user ID in quotes, or we can say something like assignee. And we'll check our code. Looks good. Click next. Finish the operation. Publish. Well, actually, I'm sorry. We want to make sure this is moved down after, of course, you originally create the issue. Otherwise, there'll be nothing to edit. And I like to move it all the way down to the bottom, past even the last uh, event getting fired. Okay. And now we'll say publish. We'll say no. Now we'll try to create an issue. Alright, so I'm going to try assigning this to Ethan. So now you'll notice here on the, the request participants field, Ethan's already been added. And we could have specified specific users just by, again, adding their username. Or we could have pulled them out of a, a project role or a group, a security group. We could have done it in a number of ways, but we just set it equal to the assignee. And uh, that is how you use PowerScripts to automatically request a participant. Thank you for watching.